Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, that's me. And that is Jason Tatum. That's what we're looking for in this 2017-2018 Panini Donner's Optic Blaster Basketball Break. Ten blaster boxes, half of a fresh case, uh, break number one. And one spot gets you two teams right here. Man, are they really going for that much? I mean, with the, uh, yeah, probably a good idea to get in before uh, the Celtics go deep into the playoffs. And if this guy plays well, whew. big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Let's double your names up. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. And they're all teams are in right there, too. So let's roll it. Let's randomize it six times. One and a five for each list. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, we've got... Rocchio down to Matthew. And then six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we've got the San Antonio Spurs down to the Nolens Pelicans. Unfortunately, the Pelicans not as desirable in 2017-18. You know, could be some surprises in there. All right, Rokio with the Spurs. Sean with the Nets. Trailblazers for Matthew. Tyler with the T-Wolves. Matthew G with the Warriors. Jeremy with the Suns. Matthew S with the Jazz. Other Matthew S with my Lakers. Matthew Silverstein. Matthew Shira with the Wizards. Oliver, you have the Rockets. Guy with the Pacers. Sean Maddock with the Pistons and Magic. Stephen P with the Raptors. Tyler with the Hornets. Rick with the Cavs. Matthew uh, Silverstein with the Heat. Rokio with the uh, Hawks. Rick Serrano with your other last spot mojo team, Clippers. We've got Cavs, Clippers. Steven with the Mavs. Sean with the Bulls. Matthew Shearer with the Knicks. Matthew Garner with the Sixers. Matthew Silverstein with the Memphis Grizzlies. Jeremy Agno with the Kings. There you go. Matthew Shearer with the Boston Celtics, my rivals guy. With the Bucks, Matthew with the Nuggets. Oliver with the Thunder. And Matthew with the Pelicans. Right, yeah. In 2017-18, yes, Zion probably drinking Capri Suns at this point after high school after his high school days let's sort by column b now i'm going to switch trades are allowed but i'm going to switch away from the screen just for a second because i'm going to pop open that fresh box and we're going to see um we're going to see which 10 boxes we're going to do i'm actually going to need a knife i need a pen at this break too all right all right, so let's pop this guy open. Stephen P says Capri Suns are delicious. I didn't say they weren't delicious. I still drink them. I still have I still have trouble putting the straw in the pouch though. That's that's that that's an extra level of dexterity that I do not have. All right, so let's kind of all over the place here. Joey, what's going on? We got T-Wolves and Hornets for trade. All right, so you can see on the top camera, here's two, four, six, eight, ten boxes right there, and then two, four, six, eight, ten right over here. We're gonna roll the die, I'm gonna select the die, and I'm gonna select that Las Vegas one right there. One, two, three for those ten, and then four, five, six for those ten. Two. So it's going to be the 10 right in front of us right here. And these, I'll just keep on my sofa, actually, because I'll bet we'll do these later tonight. All right, so I'll leave those there. I'm going to, let's bring it back to the list. And I'm going to pause the video and allow for a little bit of trading time. And when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. Little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. It's all good, though. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for spending a bit of your Saturday with us. Break with us, watch baseball with us, and we'll have a nice little Saturday night. All right, there it is. So let's, uh, let's open up a few boxes here at a time. Maybe five boxes at a time. We've got basketball starting up soon, too. And that's exciting. Baseball's underway. 
basketball is going to be. They're scrimmaging. We'll be getting some hoops action going soon. I think there there are some teams that are going to basketball teams are going to benefit from the 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 long layoff, right? Trailblazers got healthy. Yusuf Nurkic got healthy. I think a, a Collins. Which Collins do they have? They have? Do they have the Zach Collins or the John Collins? They have a Collins on that team. I think he's he's effective. He can eat up some minutes. He's healthy. Um, Denver Nuggets. Bowl, bowl. I think was battling foot injuries for, for a lot of the season. And then he has gotten a little healthy. And I think maybe a player or two were opting out or sick or something. I don't know what they were doing. Uh, but I think he's got opportunities now. Oh, they have Zach Collins this week. So Bowl Bowl is now getting some opportunities because he's rested up. He's healthy. Right, one scrimmage and Bowl Bowl cards through the roof. Imagine, Nuggets are a playoff team, right? If Nuggets do well in the playoffs, and if Bold Bold's getting some decent minutes, a couple highlight plays here and there, that's that'll all, that's that's all it'll take, you know, for that hype. Thanks, Stephen P. Yeah, that the Rockets. I'll, I'll let's flip back to. I have a Rockets pick. I've got some hoops picks, futures picks. I rarely do futures. I'm not very good at those, but but for the eighth seed in the Western Conference, which means possibly someone winning a winning a play-in game as well. For the eighth seed, I go, I went Portland plus two seventy-five, Pelicans plus three twenty-five, just for Zion reasons. Hashtag good for the hobby. And the Spurs, plus 1,800. Coming out of, a, out of a long layoff in a pandemic, who benefits the most? Probably good coaching. Teams with depth and good coaching. I think Spurs, Spurs are uh, there. Eastern Conference champion. I got, I'm only taking long shots, really. They have, that has the most value. I mean, it's probably going to be the Bucks, but or the Raptors, but... Plus 600 for the Celtics. And I, I picked these ages ago, weeks ago. So those odds might be different. But 6-1 to one for the Celtics. Why not? Another well-coached team. Jason Tatum. Well, that's not Jason Tatum, but Jason Tatum is in this set. You know, he's playing well. Miami. Another well-coached team. Deep team. Jimmy Butler. Couple young rookies. Kendrick Nunn. Tyler Hero can make an impact. So I like that as well. Miami 18-1 to one, plus 1,800. Could be great. Western Conference champion. Pick Dallas plus 2,020 to 1. Hey, if if Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis just go off, that will be great. And the pick Stephen P was talking about was uh, my Houston pick. 10 to 1 plus, plus 1,000 for the Houston Rockets to win the West. Now, most likely it's going to be my Lakers or the Clippers, right? But if I'm investing a little, if I'm investing financially in the futures, the futures market, right? like oil, like for a team. I think there's some value there. Well-rested Harden, right? So they can just ride Harden 40 minutes a night, have him shoot like a million shots a game, have him do that. Westbrook is there as well. Probably the best player that Harden has played next to since the Westbrook Durant days maybe, or just Harden Durant days. It's been a while since he's had a, had a good second player. Chris Paul, maybe. But, yeah. Landon's asking, do you think the Pelicans can could have gone to the playoffs with, with, if they had Zion the whole year and healthy and no coronavirus? Yeah, I think so. I mean, small sample size, but Zion has looked pretty incredible. You know, in the handful of games, the dozen or so games that he played, there's Dennis Rodman, Hall Kings. But I... It's crazy to think, Lily, if to think that Zion value could go even higher, but I spam out of bio. What happens if 
Zion gets to the playoffs. Right? That's, that's another boost in value, right? Let's say he meets the Lakers. They're the eighth seed, meets the Lakers, and has a great series against the Lakers. Lakers, very public team. Everyone's going to be watching him on, on TV. That's another boost in value, you would imagine. <laughs> what if Zion is the reason they beat the Lakers? Imagine that. So, yeah, I mean, I think there's still, still <laughs> there probably could still be some room for, for Zion to go up even more. I mean, I'm sure those playoff prices will, will end up, you know, kind of dipping and plateauing back down again, but why not? This Giannis will go to Guy and the Bucks. There's Porzingis, Knicks edition, and our first Jason Tatum, rated rookie base. And we were looking for hollows. I think those are our main main chase, Matthew Shearer and the Celtics. But this base version is not too bad as well. Ricky Rubio for the Jazz. So those blue borders, not numbered, but they will ship. I think it's only veteran commons that, that aren't going to ship. Obviously, rated rookies and hollows and stuff will all ship. That'll ship. Inserts will ship. Buddy Heal, that's a parallel. That'll ship. Isaiah Thomas, Court Kings Lime to 149 will ship. Wow, are those are those Jason Tatum rated rookie base? Rich is saying 80 bucks raw. There's John Collins, Hawks, Zach Collins on the Trailblazers. Those Tatum prices have been steadily, steadily growing for for months now, and if he has a good playoffs, could be could be even better. More Giannis. We'll save more of those Giannises. All right, Buddy Heald in the back. Another five boxes to go. Let's rip all of those open. Why, 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 Dwayne Bacon, LOL. What's with the LOL, Tyler? Dwayne Bacon, before the, the pandemic put the season on pause, in a G League game, he had dropped like 40 points. I'll bet if the season kept going, that Bacon, that Bacon would have made the, made the Charlotte Hornets, played really well, and all those people who got all those Dwayne Bacon cards back in when we were ripping all this 2017-18 stuff, profit. Yeah, so before you laugh, but I'm pretty sure, look it up, Tyler, fact check me. But I'm pretty certain that pre-pandemic, there was like a G League game where Dwayne Bacon had, had dropped 40 in a I mean, G League game, but he had dropped 40 or something like that. And I was like, and at the time, I was like, I remember being like, dust off those Dwayne Bacon cards. Did the Celtics do better with or without Kyrie Irving? They seem to do okay this season without Kyrie. Yeah, save your bacons, Tyler. Don't don't waste your bacons. A waste of bacon. Can't waste bacon. Wow, Rich is saying we may not get. Is that something that you heard from PSA or Beckett, Rich? I guess they are pretty backed up on grading. In fact, I think was it Jack B. Someone was saying, I think it was Basmachi, and he was he was saying that he got an email from PSA. Maybe it was you, Rich. Got an email from PSA saying that they were hiring. 
I guess Jack's in Southern California, so maybe that's why he got that email, but I think it was him. But he got uh, the, that they were hiring people, graders. Yeah, I think that Celtics Eastern Conference play is not too shabby at six to one, Tyler. Like, and I got that weeks ago, so that those numbers might be different today. But um, I mean, most likely it's going to be Bucks, right? Most likely, or or second most likely, probably Toronto, right? But. Uh, but if it weren't those teams, that's kind of where my head's at. With futures bets, I don't really play a lot of futures. And then I'm, I'm, we're talking like maybe lunch money on each of these things. But So it's, I, I don't go too crazy on, on, on any of this. It's for entertainment purposes anyway. But, but I always try to go for that sort of longer shot value. Where's the value with the longer shots? Rex, what's going on? I know. I, I, I played against your Cubs today, and I was rewarded. Nick Stober, what's going on? An even longer shot at Miami Eastern Conference, plus 1,800, 18 to 1. That's not too bad, right? I'm talking about Jimmy Butler goes off if Kendrick Nunn and Tyler Hero are ahead of schedule. They still have Bam Adebayo on that team. He's playing some good basketball. Spolstra's a good coach. Uh, Booble, man, do you know when the 2020 Luminance break will be? No. Whenever it sells out, though, probably tonight. I don't know. I know, we have to do something about that passing the torch. I feel like I have to, maybe after, I got a couple more breaks to do, but after a couple more breaks, maybe I'll show you the video of the break that Nick Jaspi did of passing the torch football and show you what's inside. I think that passing the torch was an online only release, so maybe not too many people who have experiences with that, so maybe they're a little shy. All right. Last five boxes, second half is in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and Ivan Rab is your rated rookie autograph for the Grizz. Matt Silverstein with that one. Yeah, let's get that Mamba mixer going too. I think there's a, a few mini breaks that we need to accomplish, but I think we should be able to knock that out tonight as well. Donovan Mitchell rated rookie, nice. Dodgers are down 5-1 to the Giants? Only the fourth inning, bottom of the fourth. Dodgers can put up a crooked number pretty easily. Oh, they got virtual fans in the stands? That's weird. I think that might be a Fox broadcast thing. It's <laughs> interesting. Justice Winslow, Zach Collins, rated rookie. Something on the back. Um, Dodger Stadium, I don't know about other stadiums, folks, but Dodger Stadium is allowing uh, pet photos as cardboard cutouts that you can get back at the end of the season authenticated by the MLB. You'll get a little hologram sticker on it. Might have, might have to do one of those. I'll save some of these LeBron Jameses as well. Cavs, Rick. I know his, even his, his cards have been ga gaining some value on the secondary market. Obviously because it's Obviously, because it's LeBron James, then people are kind of that those, those base cards, like this Giannis too. Over the last couple of years, have just been really increasing in value.
I'm not sure. Uh, actually, no, Brad. I think I read the rules and it said uh, one pet per photo. And for the human cutouts, I think it's just one, one human per photo. Although I think I saw some people sneak in a, a second human, a baby-sized human, into their shot. What about Steph Curry hollows? What's the situation on that secondary market? Malik Monk, Rookie Kings to 149. Al Horford, Devin Reed, Hall Kings, Mitch Richmond, and Joe Johnson for the Jazz at the very end. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice quick break of 2017-2018 Panini Donner's Optic Basketball 10-box Blaster Edition. Random team break number one. Second half in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.